Hello everybody, how lovely to be here to read a story today. I'm going to let you into a little bit of a secret. I've got my bear with shears on today. Mrs Smith doesn't let me wear them at school, so I put them on in secret. <laughs> right, today I brought a little friend with me because this is Dogger. I'd like you to meet him. Say hello Dogger. He is one of the characters in one of my children's favourite ever stories called Dogger. And when they were little tiny babies, they used to read it and they loved it. And I've just found a special book called Dogger's Christmas. So I wanted to bring in Dogger to share this story with you. So let's have a look. Dogger's Christmas. Lovely cover. Here he is. This is about a little boy called Dave. And he had a big sister called Bella and a little brother called Joe. Joe couldn't walk properly yet, but he could scrabble along on the floor for crawling really fast. Bella was especially good at running and jumping. She could turn cartwheels and stand on her head. Dave had a very favourite toy called Dogger, who was almost as old as he was. He still took him to bed with him every night. This Dogger is 21 years old because he's the same age as my little baby boy. But, do you know what? Now he was getting interested in all sorts of other toys, like his train set, and his spaceship, and his cars that he could wind up so they could whiz about really, really fast on their own. Christmas was coming soon. Dave and Bella helped Mum and Dad to put up the paper chains and decorate the tree. They knew all about it being the birthday of baby Jesus and how he didn't have a proper bed and how he had to sleep in a manger. And he was visited by angels and shepherds and wise men. Dave and Bella were very busy making lists of all the fancy stuff they were hoping to get as presents and posting them up the chimney to Father Christmas. Bella didn't want any more teddies because she had seven already. She was asking for some new trainers and a t-shirt with an Olympic badge on it and a really good skipping rope because the one she had was a little bit babyish. Dave wanted lots more track for his train set and some building bricks and a book about wild animals and a chocolate reindeer. Mum helped him make his list. Mum took Dave and Bella Christmas shopping Joe was a bit young for that, so he stayed at home with Dad. They didn't take Dogger either in case he got lost. So Dave left Dogger propped up on the windowsill, waiting for them to come back. They were gone for a very long time. On Christmas Eve, the tree was all alight in the front window. and Dave and Bella had their Christmas stockings ready to hang up. David meant to give Dogger a Christmas stocking too, but there was so much excitement going on that he forgot. When at last they were cuddled down together, Dave found it really hard to get to sleep. He knew that Father Christmas wouldn't come until he was asleep, but somehow he kept sitting up and checking at the end of his bed to make quite sure his stocking was really easy to see. But in the end, all the house was quiet. <gasps> Look, at last it was Christmas morning and Dave, Bella and Joe woke up really early to find their stockings full of all sorts of lovely presents. The floor around their beds was covered with torn wrapping paper. And as soon as Mum and Dad were awake, Dave and Bella gave them their presents, which they had kept secretly hidden. Dave had some lovely sweet smelling soap for Mum, which Dad had helped him choose and a bag of chocolate coins for Dad. We always have chocolate coins in my house. Bella had a little diary for Dad, which he could take into his office, and a book about wildflowers for Mum. After breakfast, Mum and Bella went over to see Jim Baker, who lived on his own with his dog, Ruffy. Mum had a box of chocolates for him, and Bella had made him a card. She also had a tin of dog food for Ruffy, who was her special friend. My son Phil's coming over to see me and bringing the Christmas dinner, Jim said. Bound to be late, but it'd be great to see him when he does turn up. That's 
nice. He's got somebody to share Christmas with, isn't it? Meanwhile, Dave and Joe had stayed at home with Dad, who was keeping an eye on the Christmas dinner. Dave started to build a super space station with his new building bricks. Then Granny and Grandpa arrived bringing presents. Christmas had really begun. It was a lovely day. At bedtime that night, when Grandpa and Granddad le uh, Grandma left, the children were very tired, but very happy. Joe was tucked up. And Dave was already fast asleep when Dad carried him upstairs to bed, and Bella followed soon after. Later that evening, when Dad was cleaning up the Christmas wrapping paper and putting it into a big plastic bag, Mum was filling the dishwasher, they heard a wail. David had woken up and he wanted Dogger. But where was he? Oh. oh no, they looked everywhere, but he was nowhere to be found. They've looked in the cupboards, they've looked under the shelves, they've looked in the wash basket. Oh my goodness. Dave cried and cried. He felt so sad that Dogger, his old friend, had been forgotten and left out of all the Christmas fun. It took him a long time to get to sleep. In the following days, days Dave didn't want to play with his new toys. Christmas was no good without Dogger. Mum reminded him that Dogger had been lost before and he'd turned up in the end. We remember when Dogger got lost before. He was sure to be in the house somewhere. Dave was not reassured. His misery spread through the whole family. No matter how hard they tried, they couldn't find Dogger. He's disappeared. Dave began to think he'd be lost forever. Dad was doing a lot of clearing up. Dave and Bella stood in the doorway and watched sadly as he tied up the Christmas rubbish bag, took it out to the place where they left the bins. The refuse van was already making its way noisily up the street and the bin men were emptying the brimming bins into the back of it so that all the contents were scrunched up inside. They were nearly at Dave and Bella's house when suddenly Bella had a really clever idea. She decided to have one last look for Dogger. She dashed over to the bin, emptied the rubbish out all over the path and began searching through it. <gasps> out of a piece of scrap up wrapping paper she caught sight of the little tip of a little brown tail. Dogger she shouted. <gasps> Dogger shouted Dave. Bella pulled him out and held him up high. He was very dirty but Dave was so pleased. He gave out a cry of joy and he ran down to the front gate, took Dogger from her hands and hugged him really really tight. We thought he was lost, Bella told the bin men, and they all raised a cheer. Hooray! Then, of course, Dave and Bella helped Dad to clear up all the mess that they tipped out and get it all back in the bin. Phew, that was such a close thing, said Dad later, when they're all sitting amongst the presents. Dave was tenderly wiping some dust from Dogger with a piece of tissue paper. He was too happy to speak. He had Dogger back and that was all that mattered. Happy Christmas Dogger. Happy Christmas everybody. Lots of love from Dogger. <laughs>